Have you ever thought of moving to SF but was wondering about the cost of living here? This is the video for you. I lived here for 5 years. 5 years ago it was already expensive, right now it's even more expensive. First let's talk about rent. In SF downtown, if you're renting a studio, it's as easily $3,000 plus. Unless you're okay with living in areas like the Tenderloin, which is not that safe, or in Oakland, they also have a better price tag. If you're okay with staying with other people, usually renting a room is a lot cheaper. At the beginning of me, like 5 years ago when I moved into SF Soma, renting a bedroom was $1,800 per month. And I think right now, if you're not staying in the most expensive areas, you could probably still get something around $1,500 or below. Normally, if you're okay with sharing, then you can definitely save a lot more money. If you're even okay with living in the living room, then it might be even cheaper. Next, we'll talk about food, which is not cheap at all to eat out in SF. If you like to go out to restaurants and eat there, I think you cannot escape. The minimum might be around like $20 because like the starting price menu for a main dish is around like $13 to $15 and plus tip 18% and taxes is like $20 is pretty average. And if you like going out and eating with your friends, sometimes you don't only just order one main dish, you also order side dishes and that will just increase the price. And if you order drinks, then that's a little bit more too. So $20 is the minimum requirement to eat out at a restaurant. But if you want to save some money, especially if you want to save tip, then probably just buy to go, which is still not that cheap, but it's still better with that 18% discount. These days, I think a lot of restaurants, they didn't have time to update their menus. So when you're actually paying for the bill, it's actually a lot more expensive than what it was listed on the menu. So yeah, eating out in SF is definitely not cheap. Buying groceries would be a lot more affordable compared to, I'll say, going to restaurants. But if you do want to save money, I would not recommend going to Whole Foods or Safeway. Maybe go to Trader Joe's or some like Chinese grocery stores. Or the Civic Center Farmer's Market is also a pretty good choice. Personally, I didn't eat out that much, but I spent around $500 last month or this month on groceries. Okay, next there's insurance. If you came here with a job already, then usually companies cover your insurance. And depending on whether you want a better one, you can pay a little bit more. However, if you're just coming here without a job, without insurance, then you're going to have to pay for your own insurance. And some people might be able to get the government cow ones, which are... I don't know if you actually have to pay for that. But anyhow, if assuming that you don't get any government aids, you have to pay for your insurance. The minimum, the cheapest one I've ever found was around $300 per month. I'll say the more like average price range would be $500 to $600 per month. And if you want something even better with a lower deductible, probably it can go up to $1,000 or something like that. Crazy. Yeah, but insurance, even though it does cost a lot per month, I still think it's really important to get it. First of all, if you don't get it, you'll be punished by the government. Second of all, it's just seeing a doctor here is so expensive. Like, I've done it once before where I've seen a doctor for like 5 or 10 minutes. My insurance was a high deductible one, it doesn't really cover it. So I end up paying $400 for just that one 5 to 10 minute doctor appointment about like just it was just a general appointment i personally don't own a car so i don't know how much it costs to actually own a car in sf but because there's such good public transportation i don't think you necessarily need a car and also parking here is really really expensive if you cannot find street parking if you want to park in downtown Soma, it's easily like $10 to $15 for an hour. So I wouldn't personally want to own a car in SF. But for the public commute, Muni usually it costs around $250, I'll say, for each ride. I saw a lot of people these days, they actually don't really 
pay for the ticket if you're taking the Muni bus. You can actually get free rides out of it unless you're going to the station, which you'll need to pay for in order to get in, unless you're jumping the station, which I don't re really recommend. That's around the price to take Muni. If you want to take BART, that's also an option that usually starts around at least like, I think, $3 to it can cost around three to five or even ten dollars if you're going to the airport so that's the cost of public transportation for gym membership you can pay anywhere from like thirty dollars to a few hundred dollars per month uh thirty dollars is really on the lower end like a 24-hour fitness or what and uh, i think ymca is around like eighty dollars and then for Equinox, it's probably a few hundred or if you join like CrossFit or some other like special gyms or what, they do cost a little bit more. And companies also cover gym membership or as like a fitness benefit or what. So if your company covers that, that's awesome. But if you don't, if it doesn't, then yeah, that's how much it would cost. Last thing would be your phone bill. I'll say it can cost anywhere from usually $40 if you're going with bigger providers like T-Mobile. However, if you want to save some money, you can go with providers like Mint Mobile, which is $15 per month or 15 to 20 something dollars or even $30 per month, which is a lot cheaper than T-Mobile. So yeah, there are ways to get a cheaper phone plan. I think this is all the basic living costs, which is probably around $3,000. So with $3,000, you're going to be able to survive, and uh, but your life is not going to be extremely fancy. So yeah, this is uh, my breakdown of, um, I guess, the costs that will that you will need in order to live in the city. But I'll say if you want to live comfortably, at least $3,000 or like three thousand to five thousand dollars if you want to live fancy then obviously a lot more but yeah thank you very much for watching my video if you have any questions feel free to leave comments uh if you want to support my channel please subscribe and like this video and if you disagree with the living cost then uh, you can leave some comments and we'll have a discussion thank you very much